Alright, rolling with a new microphone here on a Monday because I heard the footage from yesterday and frankly it's awful. So we'll see if this sounds better because, important announcement, I'm going to Greensboro on Sunday assuming we make it to the Elite Eight because I'm going on a bus trip that the team talked about today. So let's handle business against presumably North Carolina because they're up by 20 at the top of the fourth quarter on Friday and then, you know, get the winner of Iowa State Creighton Sunday, but... But I want to talk about the men's team because it looks like we're hiring former Chattanooga coach Lamont Paris. This was a search. You know, Sean Miller, you know, Xavier pulls a Wilm, not Wilma Strampo, a Georgia and Kirby Smart firing their coach, so then we get Wilma Strampo. And then Mike Borton's buyout too high, Matt McMahon at Murray State. He finished his tournament run over the weekend in the round of 32, I believe. And we, you know, try to go after him, hell. We got guys in Kentucky today interviewing him, but then he go to LSU, even though about to be sanctioned city with Will, with Will Wade's, you know, ousting. And then Bob Ritchie, a very Billy Napier sentiment. Like, we got unfinished business at Furman, which leads me to believe we didn't want to go after him. And for some reason, Tanner didn't want to go after BJ Mackey. So, I don't know. I feel like that was a very dumb mistake. Like, BJ Mackey was literally right there. And, and if you're not going to get a home run hire like a Sean Miller, why the hell don't you get a former player, someone who, you know, can give some new life to this program, someone who can not make it the redhead step trial of the South Carolina Athletic Department? Because even Cock Hockey doing better things. I think they're in the Final Four. Literally, you know, Cock Hockey, women basketball, even baseball right now struggling after getting swept by Tennessee over the weekend and football. It feels sad, that, you know. We're hinging on a 5-5 and seven fo- a seven five football team right now. And, you know, the women's and the cock hockey, but that's where things stand. All right, still testing microphones here on a, on a Tuesday because I got another one of these lavalier, I think, mics for free with the big puffy one I bought. But, I mean, it's been a day. Baseball loses to the Citadel 4-3. to free. At this point, I think I'm on the fire Mark Kingston bandwagon. So that's interesting, you know, a lot has changed since a month ago, like like a few days after opening day, and you know, this team hasn't looked good at times, like most of the season, except for one day against Texas on that Sunday, and you know, a lot of former players are coming out and saying not great things about Mark Kingston, like some of the legends who, you know, put on the garnet and block, you know. Michael Ross going off on Twitter a little bit tonight. And, you know, combined with the whole basketball coaching search right now, that we we don't have a head coach. Like, they didn't even name an interim. And, you know, this search is dragging on. And, you know, because Lamont Paris had not been officially named yet. And as far as I know, there isn't a board of trustees meeting scheduled yet to approve his damn contract. So... Yeah, things aren't great. You gotta fire Kington. Ray Tanner probably just needs to step down. But basically, just this whole athletic department needs to be raided to the ground. Besides Beamer and Dawn, because that's all we got right now. So, yep, it's now Wednesday. There was no real drumline rehearsal today, because there was some sort of recital up at the School of Music. So, I just kind of took advantage of today doing PCAM homework. Working a little bit on lab report. Just, you know. Getting everything done before the Green Bar trip this weekend. And, you know, we got a board of trustees meeting tomorrow. So, you know, confirming Lamont Paris' new contract to get him on board. A little bit too late, though, as Eric Stevenson has hit the portal today. Shoot a shoot, baby. You know, he'll be missed. It's going to be a lot of roster turnover. And Paris is going to have to hit the ground running immediately tomorrow whenever he gets hired officially. And, you know, after his presser. Get to work immediately with, you know, recruiting this roster and trying to maintain the overturn and, you know, transferring, and, you know, picking up guys out of the portal himself. Another objective of mine, I've talked about this, simply is to win. I think to win at a high level. Uh, the, the, the barriers that stand between uh, winning, there aren't, they, they, there aren't a ton here. Uh, I know we've been in nine NCAA tournaments in the school history. I'd like to add to that. That's my objective. I like to add uh, at, a, at a fast rate. I don't think it's a six-year project. I'd like to add quickly to that, playing in the postseason, playing in the NCAA tournament, 
It's, it's why I do this. It's, it's, it's why guys come to practice. It's why they wake up early. It's why they run hills. It's why they lift weights. It's why they do community service. It's why they go to classes. It's why they make sacrifices. It's why they don't have the social life that someone else does. It's why they do all the things they do. It's why they do all the things they do because they want to win at a really high level. All right, so I'm trying something new. I bought a ton of stuff this week with this mic, and this is what we got. I bought one of the mics that, like, it's like a $40 mic. They will pl plug into my phone with the adapter. I got the dead cat on it. I got a pistol grip adapter on the phone that makes it a camera. So we're going to see how this works. But Lamont Paris hire official today. And I've warmed up to the hire the past few days since Monday night when it was announced. You know, he's done some good things at Chattanooga, inherited a very bad situation, and turned it into a winner. So that's good. And, you know, can't come into South Carolina, inheriting, you know, a, a program that went to one NCAA tournament in the last 10 years. And, you know, he said in his presser, this is not a six year project or whatever. It's not. At Beamer said, there ain't no damn rebuild. So, you know. The very Beamer vibes in the presser. And I, you know, big fan. Big fan of Lamont Paris so far. And then the media team keeps putting out W's. They made another video. Very football like what Justin King's doing for Beamer's crew. And if we, if they keep doing that, it's going to be a very good time from now until, what, November? You gotta contain Enrique Bradfield. You got to. Come on, Sanders. Imagine going to Vanderbilt. Imagine going to Vanderbilt. Turns into a disaster. High fly ball, right field. Jones back at the wall, and it's gone. A three-run home run for Andrew Eister, and the Gamecocks take a seven-nothing lead. You running? Yeah! We're actually hitting the baseball tonight. This one's 
That smoked. That ball got smoked. First home run of the season for Braylon Wimmer. A two run shot. And South Carolina has pulled within one. And we're back in it after a Madden double and a Wimmer home run. Let's go, baby. Th that out. Looks like he maybe stayed on as he caught it and maybe caught, came off as he caught it. Looks like they called it. That's it. What the hell is up with this team? You take a series, you, you get swept by Clemson, you take the series over Texas, you get swept by Tennessee, and then you take the series over Vanderbilt. What the hell is this baseball team? Live report all wrapped up. It's now Sunday. We're up here, just outside Concord, North Carolina. Just a rest stop off the off the fan party bus on the way to Greensboro. Be there in roughly two hours, and you know, be at the hotel for the team send off, and then to the Coliseum ready for the Elite Eight game for you know, against Creighton. Like, get it.
All right, Henny, what you got? Boston? you to sit. Your, your queen commands you. Let's go, Gamecocks. Let's go, Gamecocks. Let's go, Gamecocks.
They upset Colorado, then they upset Iowa and Iowa State. They... Can the rest just let it play out the rest of the way? Three play basket, Jamie Harrell. Don't let him get the 50. Thank you. 
Good evening, everybody. And congratulations on behalf of the NCAA and the Division I Women's Basketball Committee to both Creighton University and the University of South Carolina for an outstanding tournament. With that said, it is my distinct honor on behalf of the NCAA to present the Greensboro Regional Championship Trophy. Thank you for attending. Thank you. 